Hello, and welcome to another edition of Fivefold Feeds. I'm Walt Pilcher, author of The Fivefold Effect, coming to you from Fivefold Effect World Headquarters in Colfax, North Carolina. Thanks for registering for our teaching series on The Fivefold Effect in accordance with KCIA's mission to launch you into your God-given assignment. You know, one of the most important jobs of an apostolic organization like KCIA is to equip people to fulfill the destinies God has planned for them since before they were born. If you know your gifting and can tie it to your calling, your assignment, you are steps ahead toward fulfilling that destiny. And that's what this teaching series is all about. As you know, the central theme of the fivefold effect is that the fivefold gifts of Ephesians 4.11 are for the marketplace, not just for the church. In fact, they are for the church, that is us, to take to the marketplace. Now, this may be new to some of us, and, and in order to embrace this idea, we need to have what some call a Hebrew mindset. And that's what I want to highlight for the next few minutes. Let's contrast the Western mindset versus the Hebrew mindset. In the Old Testament, we see a picture where God is at the center of Israelite society. Godly principles are employed at all levels, fully integrated into the seven mountains. Now, this is very different from our Western mindset, which is highly influenced by ancient Greek philosophy. The Greeks, uh, typified by Plato, believe that everything is centered on man, hence the philosophies of humanism and rationalism. However, for the Israelites, as it should be for us, God is at the center. Now, Plato taught that there's a separation between the spiritual realm and the natural realm, and that therefore work or the marketplace, is separate from, and by the way, inferior to, the spiritual. But Deuteronomy 16 and many other scriptures paint a very different picture. As the late Dr. C. Peter Wagner puts it, Hebrews see both the spiritual and the natural, including work realms, as one entity under the hand of God. The conclusion that can be derived from the Hebrew perspective is that our work is a form of ministry. It is as sacred as singing in the choir. I know that this can be hard to agree with at first because we've been programmed with the Greek mindset, but the more we can switch our paradigm to the Hebrew mindset, the better we will understand the church in the workplace. Now here's a slide that illustrates the difference. On the left, see God at the top and man doing basically his own thing at the bottom. Much as we might revere Plato's wisdom, he got this one wrong. Yes, we can create a society where we treat God as if he has only a supporting role, and unfortunately we've tended to do that, but the truth is shown on the right. God is at the center, just as he named himself Emmanuel, God with us, in the center of everything. There is not, nor should there be, nor indeed can there be, any separation between the church and the marketplace. If you have this mindset, you are ready to embrace the idea that the fivefold gifts of Ephesians 4.11 are operating in the marketplace and in you. Okay, don't forget our next teaching session, February 21st, and we hope in the meantime you'll read at least the first half of the fivefold effect and download the study guide Experiencing the Fivefold Effect with the link we've provided. So long for now.